Paco Freilich, we're at Lac de Flambeau. We're across from the casino. This is a lodge that's been holding a fire for the last three weeks. There's pipes, there's uh, medicines. Uh, what are your concerns about the tribal ordinance that was passed yesterday to remove this place? My concerns are um, that this is really a violation of our American Indian religious rights and it's being uh, passed as a land use violation and um, that's where my real concerns lie. I interviewed over at the tribal office building earlier and there was talk there from uh, one of the council members that there was drinking and drugging going on over here. Uh, is that a smoke screen? What, what are the real issues uh, facing this community? Personally, I can say I've never seen any drinking or drugs. We treat this as a sacred fire. I would, I, I um, defy them to prove that allegation. Um, what I really think is the issue is this, this fire has drawn um, continued attention to um, our group that is um, concerned about the dishonesty in this government and they don't like it. We're situated directly across the road from where the peaceful occupation occurred on March 26th, directly uh, in view of uh, Vicki Dowd's windows. Um, I think that um, our fire in our lodge has drawn um, many people um, over time to the lodge and and a lot more younger people, and they're, they're, um, I think they're scared of it. You know, there's a lot of spiritual symbology and connectedness that comes with the fire, and um, that's, that carries a deep meaning to me, and I know for many others, it's, it's a place where people can come to put their worries and tobacco and prayers in the fire, and connect with each other and, and connect with spirit. I think that, um, I think that it serves as um, a beacon to others that are scared in the community to stand up because of persecution and abuses of, uh, that they've had to endure. I think this, this gathering place and this fire and this lodge um, shows people that you don't have to be afraid to come out and stand up. And I think for all those reasons, they want us gone. What do you want to see happen? Um, I would like to get back to a peaceful, healing community. Um, unfortunately, I think that certain people have to be removed out of power for that to happen. I think that uh, we've tried every legal route that we know of. And, and uh, when the people in power are corrupt and there's nobody above them to uh, look over them, um, you end up with, with a chaos like we have. And I truly feel that um, everything people are witnessing happening on our reservation is a sign of poor or no leadership. When you have a great leader, you, you don't have chaos. And, and we have chaos, we have increasing crime rates as reported by uh, Elliot Rising Sun in Lakeland Times yesterday. And uh, we have a failing economy here. We have uh, 10 plus percent unemployment. We have um, 70 million in debt. We've mortgaged our uh, tribal lands. We've given away our casino revenue for the next five years. Those are not signs of, of good leadership. And uh, so this is just another form of abuse of power, in, um, in my belief. Miigwech.